friend because I help people. Uh, being respectful and kind and well trusted. CJ? Uh, I try and do my best and uh, uh, be a good steward and treat people the way I would like to be treated. Kindness and loyalty. Helping when people get hurt. CJ is a good friend. When you are a friend with somebody, you should help them and you should, like when they're sad, you should like try to cheer them up and like talk about, uh, I hope you're okay. I love my friends. A good friend is like someone who you can trust with your life. Um, I'm kind, I love all my friends. I try and help them to the best of my ability. I'm there for them all the time. I'm helpful, I'm kind, um, I listen. When they're hurt, you should stand up for them. When they're being bullied, you should also stand up for them. I help people when I have a hard time. Because I share. When they feel sad, you can go up to them and help them. Friends play together. When my friend was getting bullied and I helped them out, I put a stop to it, I told the teacher. Um, you help them when things are tough and uh, you play with them and trust them and be kind to them. Treat people the way I want to be treated and uh, I might uh, uh, ask them to uh, invite them to church or something like that. Do we funny? I show love to my friends by being a good friend. Um, I was a good friend when one of my friends, they were really hungry and like they needed some food and I felt really bad for them because they didn't eat breakfast that morning and they were just running out the door and I shared an apple with them. Because I'd be kind by helping them with stuff when it's hard. Whenever, whenever a kid, whenever I, I made a new friend, that whenever I was, whenever a bully, a bully, a bully was bullying another kid, so I helped him. Help him cheer up. Well, like, like sometimes when we like, like talk at the same time, I let them go, like, before me. Um, help them. Share. Play with them. Someone was not kind to someone, so I said, hey, don't do that. And then I said, you're not being a good friend. And then I started to play with the kid that was getting bullied. Okay, one time I was a bad friend when a friend of I my best bestie of all time. He took a giant basketball. It was like filled with air. It was like so heavy because we were we were arguing. And we got so mad at each other, and they threw it in my face. Every now and then, you get these people that just drive you just drive you nuts as much as they can. Well, I used to not be able to handle it and just rage. Nowadays, I try and walk away. I wasn't a good friend. When um, when my friends they got hurt and uh, I started laughing at them with all my other friends, like I cut in line once. If you're like having trouble talking with them, like you mean they they can't understand you really. If a friend asks you to do something and you don't know how to do it either. Trying to hold on to friendships, um, really trying to balance them with not too much time that they get annoyed. Um, try not get mad at each other. It makes friendships hard when like, if you've been friends with someone for a really long time and then they start getting new friends and then you can get jealous and it becomes really hard. What makes 
What makes life dreams hard is whenever a person, whenever you're like nervous. What makes friendship hard is sometimes we have to get our feelings out and sometimes when we feel bad, we sometimes give that bad feeling to our friends. Making friendships hard is like not agreeing. Sometimes you just argue with each other because like, no, I want to do this. And, but the other friend's like, no, I want to do this with each other. But the thing is, you're, get, you're getting upset with your friends because like just one friend out of two can't make the decision. How about we do both of this? Or like we do this after that. Trying to stay a good friend. Like when you like, like have an old friend and you're like, you have a, like a new friend and you're like, you're trying to like um, stay with like both. People being non-mutually beneficial. People, uh, the friendship is for both of you to have fun, for both of you to, to have fun in each other. And when one is not of that, the other seek revenge. Um, he helps you along the road. He's always there for you. He's guiding you, whispering in your ear, always helping. Keeps us safe, um, like company. Guys, you're my friend. I was a little bit not sharing, so God corrected me and it showed me how to do it right because he loves all of us. Love you. He helps us whenever we need help. Because he's forgiving. I'm being good boy. I'm a god. He protects me and uh, he um, gets me out of trouble and tells me what to do by uh, opening, uh, opening his arms and uh, accepting my prayers and other things. Help us chill up. Being respectful and listening, sharing and being kind. By, by trusting God. I can ask them to go to church with me, like invite them to church. I can, like if they're from church, uh, uh, we could like, if nobody from their house can drop them off at church, we could drop them off, same with school. Help him to up. I could be a good friend by helping people, donating to the poor, and comforting people. By praying and helping them out and living the life he would want us to live. I share with people. I could help them when they need help, or I could help them when they feel sad. I think how I could be a good friend to God would be listen to what he says, um, follow him, and then how I could do better to my friends was listen more. It like when we help people by listening to God. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. Sit on me. you got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. Send on me. you got a friend in me. You have a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. you got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. you got a friend in me. And a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me.